Hi, so uh, I'm Paul Merrick, um, currently Professor of Medicine and Chief of Pulmonary Critical Care at Eastern Virginia Medical School. I was born in Johannesburg. I'm South African, where I actually got my excellent medical training. I went to the University of Advisors Rand, you know, which was the best medical school in the entire world. I did an internship, I did a residency, and I then acted as an attending for some time at Barrowanus. I then did two years in the army, believe it or not. Um, that's going back a time. Uh, and then to further my career, I did a fellowship in critical care medicine in London, Ontario. And then I came to the US and that's kind of my notorious history. I don't want to overstate it, but I think it was due to what we did that's put Ivan Macdon on the map. I think if it wasn't for us shouting and being so vocal that um, no one would have listened. So really it was Pierre and myself that, um, you know, saw the signal, you know, I saw it first. Pierre and I um, kind of spoke about it a lot. Pierre obviously testified and I think his testimony is what kind of went viral. But, you know, I think it was the two of us that have basically alerted the world. Now, obviously, you know, we didn't invent ivermectin, you know, you know, so a lot of, you know, research was done prior to to us. I think what we have done is we have popularized or we brought it to the fore. The beauty of ivermectin is because it has antiviral and anti-inflammatory properties, it really has activity across the spectrum of COVID-19. There's no other drug that comes close. We've seen how devastating this pandemic has been across the entire world. And we absolutely know that if people followed our approach, we could have saved tens of thousands, if not millions of lives, and no one will listen. That, that is the, the, the tragedy. Um, and I think people will look back at this with, you know, complete dismay how this could have actually happened. Because we have a good answer. We think it's, you know, not the only answer, but it's part of the tr approach to this disease.